Hi guys, welcome back to another video here in Spaz YouTube. This video is actually a travel guide which is going to detail the ins and outs of traveling and exploring Sipalay City, the jewel of the Sugar Island. Sugar Island meaning Negros, Negros Occidental and Negros Oriental. So in this video, there are five things that I will be discussing. Number one is transportation. Number two is lodging and hotels. Three, attractions. Number four, activities. And then last but not the least, my final thoughts on my experience in Sipalay. Please note that this travel guide is based on a recent uh, travel vlog which is Exploring Sipalay. You can check that video out, link in the description. So before we proceed, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and then follow my social media accounts. Hit the bell and the like. So you can help me and my channel grow. Let's go. Packers. So if you're not familiar with Sipalay, Sipalay is located in the island of Negros, specifically in Negros Occidental. For the transportation, there are two main options to get to Sipalay, by commute or by private car or a motorcycle if you are a, a moto traveler. Here are the details for those options. If you are from Manila, you can fly either to Dumaguete or Bacolod. Pick which is most convenient for you and then you can travel from either of the two going to Sipalay. If you are from Cebu, take the Dumaguete route and then proceed to Sipalay. If you are from Iloilo, take a boat going to Bacolod. But in our travel blog, we actually opted to go to Banago Port. Banago Port is just located north of of Bacolod City. This is actually the old port. And then from Bacolod, you can travel directly to Sipalay. The travel time by commute is at least 4 hours from Bacolod or Dumaguete. While the travel time by private car may vary on the traffic and road conditions. The fare for the bus or van is around 250 or 300 pesos, while the rental fee for the car may range from 1,500 to 3,000 per day. In our travel, we opted to rent a car for three days for 1,500 per day. There are four of us in the group, so we decided to divide the 4,500 pesos into 1,125 each. That's pretty cheap knowing that you can stop and go in your own convenience. If you are a group of four and above, I would suggest renting a car. It is much cheaper and convenient. But if you are traveling alone, take the bus. You'll enjoy the scenery. Next stop is the hotels or the areas where you're gonna stay. There are many cheap hotels, resorts, and inns in Sipalay that you can choose from depending on your budget and preferences. There are four areas where you can stay. Okay, I've chosen these areas so that besides from traveling all over Sipalay, you have a great view of the beach when you're staying in your hotel. Okay, so number one is Sugar Beach, Punta Bayu Beach, 
Poblacion Beach or their public beach of Sipalay and then Campo Manis Bay. What I would suggest is going to Google Map and then check the name of the hotels and see if they have a working contact number. If not, you can search for them in Facebook. Once you get a hold of their contact number, check and compare their rates. What is my recommendation for the hotel and resort? In our travel, we stayed at Campo Kino Resort. Campo Kino is actually settled in the middle of the most popular areas in Sipalay. So it's easier for you to go to places and then come back to the resort. Also, their rate is okay as well. You'll have to tone down your expectations in their rooms. So finally, the main attractions and activities in Sipalay. What are the areas that I would recommend going to and the activities that you need to take if you are in Sipalay. So let's go ahead and go into Google Map so that you can get a good idea on what I'm talking about. This is actually Sipalay. Most of the travel guides that you see online actually talk about the three beaches that you can see. The three beaches that are in Sipalay. Number one is the Sugar Beach. Sugar Beach is actually located up here in this area right here and then the Poblacion Beach which is located in front of the city of Sipalay just right here okay that's the Poblacion Beach and then the other beach is the Punta Baliu Beach Punta Baliu Beach is actually located far off away I think it's around 20 to 30 minutes uh, drive from Sipalay. Okay. So, these are the three areas that most travel guides uh, introduce to you. But there are other uh, beaches that you can uh, stay uh, depending on your preferences. So, one of which is the Campo Manis Bay. Okay, Campo Manis Bay is just located just below Ponta Baliu Beach. And actually, if you are a free diver or a scuba diver, snorkeler, if you like those activities, Campo Manis Bay is the place that I would suggest for you to stay. Okay, so what are the areas that I would recommend that you first check out if you are in Sipalay? If you have no idea on where to go in Sipalay, then these are the places that I would recommend. Okay, so number one is the new government center of Sipalay. Before you arrive to the main city, you will pass by the new government center. I would strongly urge you to stop and take a picture of the area as it features castle-like surroundings. And then it's better if you have a drone with you so you can showcase the full view of the garden and the building. The next area is the Poblacion Beach. Poblacion Beach is around 10 to 15 minutes from the new government center. This is a public beach and has no entrance fee. This is where the food is. Take a photo at the Sipalay sign. Sipalay sign is actually located just here. And then in that beach, there is also a food court. So grab something to eat and taste the local seafood or the sinugba. This is by far the longest public beach that I have seen in my years of travel. So ayan, ito yung public beach nila. It's very far. It's actually uh, divided by a river. This, this is the sugar beach right here and this is the Poblacion Beach of Sipalay. Okay, the next must-go area is the Campo Kino Resort. This is the Campo Kino Resort right here. It's not really far from the main city of Sipalay. The entrance to that resort is just around the bend if you're following the road from the city. Right here. Siguro it will take you about 5 minutes to go into the resort. This is a normal beach resort but the one thing that it has that no other resorts have is the 360 panoramic view deck. The view deck is right here. Dito lang. Ayan. Ito yung view deck niya. 
if you're gonna go to the view deck you'll have to trek for around 300 steps from the main resort okay ayan ito yung steps this is the route that you're gonna take just beside the mountain and i would suggest you take it because the view is amazing in this view deck you can see the whole of sipalay city and the tinagong dagat and its islets kasi sa sipalay uh, it is most well known of its islets the islets is actually located right here dito sa area na to eto yung mga islets na yan ayan daming islets ayan and then the tinagong dagat is this area right here you can definitely get all the view if you have a drone so if you have a drone Campo Kino view deck is a must destination for you one thing to note is that this is more of a family beach so expect it to be noisy at times especially if there is a karag oke going on in this area as well if you're gonna go to the view deck you'll be able to see some other resorts from the top for example this one the tinagong dagat resort the entrance to that is not really far from the campo Kino resort okay but i would not recommend for you guys to check it out and stay there i'll tell you why just a little bit okay so the next area that i would recommend going is the fish tank seafood restaurant fish tank seafood restaurant is located just outside of the Sipalai City. This is Sipalai City. Fish tank is actually just right here. It's just outside. It's a short walk going through the mangroves. This is the best place to snack, coffee, or eat main meals of the day. The place has a cool floating cottage vibe, although it is not floating in the river. Um, it is just situated in the mangroves and by the river. For me, I get the Shargao vibes in this restaurant. And the food is amazing as well. Definitely a must place to check out if you are in Sipalay. Okay, so the next destination is the Perth Paradise Resort. I really recommend this place because it has a great view of the Tinagong Dagat. Perth Paradise Resort is actually located here. Dito. Let me go ahead and zoom in. Ayan. And the entrance to that resort is right here. Uh, this is a 5 to 10 minutes drive into the resort. So you need to be careful and take it slowly if you're driving. It's not that much big of a road. If there are other cars or other vehicles you might have a difficult time maneuvering so make sure that you watch out for that i know yung highlights ng perth paradise resort one of the highlights of the resort is the infinity pool this is one of the reasons why people visit this resort the pool provides you with a front row view of the surrounding islets and the Tinagong Dagat. The view of this resort is much more scenic compared to the Tinagong Dagat resort. Other things you can do include riding a jet ski or bamboo raft as well as kayaking. You'll need to pay 80 pesos for the entrance fee and 100 to use the pool. You can rent a cottage for 500 and then you can check their room rates in their Facebook page. So, ayan. After the Perth Paradise Resort, you can then head out to Ponta Valley Beach. Ponta Valley Beach is actually located right here. Ayan. That's the Ponta Valley Beach. It's actually a public beach. Uh, there's a small fee uh, to pay for the tourism. I actually forgot how much it is. If by chance that you're gonna go there, there is actually a public shower and a CR. If so, if you're gonna go there on a day tour, okay din siya. Ponto Valley Beach is a quite a long ride, siguro 30 to 40 minutes ride from the main town. From our travels, 
uh, eto yung uh, dadaanan mo. Ayan. From Perth Paradise Resort, nag-drive kami papunta Ponta Baglio. Um, the road is fully concrete, so you have no problem with rough roads whatsoever. And the entrance to the beach is a small gap between the resorts because there are actually resorts in the area. And if you ask me, all the high-end resorts are actually in Ponte Baglio Beach. Ponte Baglio Beach is the best place to watch the sunset. This is actually near Campo Manis Bay. Campo Manis Bay is just located just on the bend. Ito yung Ponte Baglio Beach. Okay. Campo Manis Bay is just here. So, ayan. Pero, just keep in mind, if you are at Ponte Baglio Beach, you cannot go straight into Campo Manis Bay unless you rent a pump boat. So, if you're gonna go there, you will have to drive your way back to Sipalay. Okay. Go the other route. Dito. Take the uh, right turn towards Campo Manis Bay. So, I don't know how long of a drive is that. The beach in Ponte Baglio is much more clearer compared to Sugar Beach and then Poblacion Beach. One reason is that the beach in Ponte Baglio is actually partly um, grassy and if you go further into the deep part of the beach there are actually coral gardens you can also rent pump boats here for island hopping which is much cheaper than the resorts if you are looking to free dive or snorkel then i would suggest you stay in ponta Baglio beach since you can just dive into the beach and go on further to the drop off and then explore the area Papakita ko sa inyo kung saan yung drop-off. Ito. This is mostly kung saan nagpa-parking yung mga pump boat sa Ponta Baglio Beach. The drop-off is just right here. Ito. Nakikita nyo. Ito sa area na to. This is where the corals are. Actually, nakikita namin at binidyoan ko nung nag-island hopping na kami. And the water is actually very clear on this area kasi yung Punta Baglio Beach is actually located opposite of the current if you are on Campokino Resort makita nyo parang ano murky yung tubig kasi because of the sand the wind and then the current that's blowing in to Campokino Resort pero dito sa Punta Baglio since it's located on the back part of the map. It's protected from the current and then the wind. So, medyo clear yung tubig dito. So, if you are a freediver, snorkeler like me, if I've known earlier that this is the situation in Punta Baglio, we could have opted to stay in this area. Just one thing to note is that in this area, medyo may kamahalan lang. Pero, there are other hotels, inns, and then especially homestays that are located in this area that are much more cheaper just have to ask around um, it's much more cheaper especially if you are a group that is traveling right here so the next destination is the Campo Manis Bay Campo Manis Bay is this big large of a gap in the map right here Campo Manis Bay is a beautiful and serene destination. There are boats here that you can rent that will take you to the snorkeling dive sites. Other than that, you can swim in the beach by the port. You can also check the resorts like Bugana Beach Resort, but it's a little bit pricey. So, if you ask me what I would recommend if you are in Campo Manis Bay, um, I would suggest that you check other uh, resorts out yung balita ko meron daw ditong uh, camping site uh, just by the bay so check that out I think it's uh, ayan Campo Lang Sala I don't know if it's still active or if it's open so check that out so if you're planning to stay in Punta Baglio or in Campo Manes check that out that's the activities that you can do in that area okay so what are my final recommendations if you're gonna travel si Palay. number one is check out the beaches there are four main beaches in Sipalay Sugar Beach Poblacion Beach Punta Baglio Beach and then Campo Manis Bay make sure that you check them out and then if you are a group make sure that you rent a 
car or a van so that it's more convenient for you guys to commute from one place to another. Because even though Sipalay is a tourist destination area, it's quite undeveloped still. So transportation can be a little bit of a troublesome for you or for us tourists who are not familiar in the area. So if you are a solo traveler, if you get to Sipalay, try to rent a motorcycle. If you don't know how to ride a motorcycle, pay someone to take you to the areas of your interest. Ayan. Also, one thing to take note is that the hotels or the resorts where you need to stay in Sipalay is quite a bit pricey. So make sure that you do your research well on where you're gonna stay, on what services they offer. Uh, for example, uh, Highland Hopping, make sure that you research the prices and then compare the prices. Because for me, in my impression of Sipalay, Sipalay is quite expensive for my taste. So make sure that you do your research well. There are other destinations that we haven't gone to in Sipalay, especially Danjugan Island, uh, Turtle Island, and then Sugar Beach. Okay, and there is also this one area which is an abandoned uh, mining site where it has become a man-made lake. Kasi lahat ng rainwater uh, pumunta na dun sa mining area. And I don't know if they allow tourists to go there. And you can actually see this. This is actually a very big area. If you can check dito sa ano. Ayan, eto siya. Yan yung abandoned mining area ng Sipalay. So I would like to check if we can go there and have pictures. Okay, we will have to ask, you know, local guides if they can take us there. So, ayan. So, if we're given a chance to come back to Sipalay, we will explore other areas that we haven't been to. But for now, this is all that I can offer you. Before we close out, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and then follow my social media accounts. Hit the bell so that you will get notified every time I upload a new video. Ride safe, travel more. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!